taking you back to 1997, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Art of War. This was my album. I love this album. Uh, my brother turned me on to Bone Thugs and Harmony with East 1999 back in the day, and um, I was a huge Bone fan. I mean, none of my friends were, which is weird because Bone was awesome. But yeah, I was like the sixth member of Bone Thugs and Harmony, Red Bone right here. Yeah. So, I mean, I just remember when this album came out, I had just moved and I was a new girl. So I was kind of, you know, strange and weird. And then the fact that I like Bone Thugs and Harmony was like even weirder. I knew every song on this album and it was it was a double, you know, double CD and I only listened to the first CD because I didn't know my brother had taken the second CD and I don't know. I didn't listen to it. So only recently have I discovered that there was another CD and I'm, you know, learning those songs and I, you know, we can battle anytime you want because I can rap just as fast as Wish and Lazy and Crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I used to love, you know, uh, just listening to the songs and I would like stop it and try to, you know, learn the word, write it down or go back and honestly half of the words I probably made up because I didn't understand because they were singing so fast but it all made sense to me. And, and I never knew until recently, I did some research on them, that they were like really successful. They were the only group that did, not successful, but like popular. Because we're, my friends, they didn't, nobody listened to Bone Thugs and Harmony. I was like the weirdo to listen to them. But they were the only group that did songs with Biggie, Tupac, Big Pun, um, and Easy E. That's the only group that did cameos with them. So that's just, you know, sets them apart right there. But yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Art of War. Um, some of my favorite tracks that I remember were um, Clog Up Your Mind, Sit Back and Let This Thug Clog Up Your Mind, yeah, uh, It's All Real, I'm not going to sing for you, I mean I know you don't want me to, and Ready for War, Ready for War was a response to all of the uh, allegations that they had stolen their rap style from other rappers, um, like 3-6 Mafia was a group that was saying that they stole their, you know, style from them. And I love 3-6 Mafia, but Bone came first, all right? Bone Thug for life. Anyway, Mo Thug, um, that's my classic review. And check out Art of War, both CDs, because I'm, like, going back and listening to the second CD. Bye.